Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop and today I'm going to show you how to make this wonderful maple leaf block and the free pattern is available at Fat Quarter Shop. If you want to turn this beautiful block into a quilt like the one behind me, we've got a low price pattern available also at Fat Quarter Shop. And we are using the Farmhouse 2 collection by Fig Tree Quilts. So grab your fabrics and let's get started. Our first step in the maple leaf is to make half square triangle units. You're going to take a fabric A and a fabric C square, and if you download the free pattern at Fat Quarter Shop, you'll see the size. You're going to put those right sides together, pin in place, and then use a friction pin and draw a line from corner to corner. I love the friction pin, it will disappear with heat later. Then from there, I'm using Aurifil Color 2000, and that's my favorite Aurifil color to use. And of course, it matches Joanna's fabric perfectly. You're going to then stitch a quarter inch away from the drawn line on both sides, and then after that, cut on the drawn line. And that is going to look like this. Then you're going to press, press towards your dark fabric, for each block, you're going to need four half square triangles. Now we're gonna make our stem unit. You're gonna take a fabric B square and a fabric E square. On the wrong side of your fabric E square, draw a line from corner to corner with a friction pen using the same method. You're gonna place the fabric E square on the top right corner of your fabric B, stitch directly on the line then trim a quarter inch away and press. Your unit will then look like this. Then you're gonna take another fabric E square, place it on the bottom left corner, stitch directly on the line and trim a quarter inch away. And this is your stem unit and you will need one for each block. So now it's time to just lay out your block. You're going to have a fabric D square three fabric B squares, four half square triangles, and a stem unit. And you just wanna pay attention to your half square triangle directions because you wouldn't want it to come out like this. So that is how that looks. I'm gonna remove my alpha bitties and I'm gonna show you how we're going to chain piece and how I chain piece a block. So we're gonna go to the machine and I'm gonna chain piece this and stop. Then I'm going to chain piece this and stop and we're going to press and then I'll show you the next step. So to start, I started with a leader which is just a scrap of fabric so that my thread will not come out and I'm just going to sew. These are really small pieces, there's no bias edges, I'm not even going to pin. So I'm using a 2.0 stitch length, and I'm just gonna keep going down that first column. So now I'm gonna cut off the first two and I'm gonna place them back on the table and just keep sewing. I'm just gonna keep sewing the next row. And this saves time and it saves thread. and we can't chain piece anymore, so I'm gonna add an ender and cut this off, and we're going to go and iron our pieces, and again, I just use leaders and enders so that my thread uh, does not come out of the needle. So now we're gonna press our block. 
I just like to keep all my threads together. I'm gonna set my seam. I'm gonna press the first row one direction. Nice and flat. Then I'm gonna take the second row and go the next, the opposite direction. And the reason I do this is it kind of keeps the block together. So when I go to my sewing machine, um, or when I go to my pressing, my ironing table, everything's all still together. And just go the other way. And here, you've got your block together. Now the last thing to do is just to sew these two seams. And when I'm putting those together, the seams are going to nest and I will pin twice. Or I'm gonna pin there and here. And I would also pin at the end. And I would just uh, sew, stop, and then sew. And then you're going to have your beautiful maple leaf block. So your maple leaf block was just as easy as that. Super great for beginners. And remember, the block pattern is free at Fat Quarter Shop, and a low price pattern is available if you wanna turn this into a crib, twin, lap, or queen. And definitely subscribe to our Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel so you can see more of our videos. See you next time.